What's up folks, it is Perry the one Arm Legend here once again with my third episode of Bayonetta Let's Play. So without further starting, let's go and get started. Well, this certainly is starting things off really fast. I wonder if angels have motorcycle insurance. Probably not. Fancy bumping into you here. Out to find some answers about your past, are we? You've quite the familiar face. And using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> Same powers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. Oh. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. You've already disappointed me. is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny. And wasted the past 20 years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are the power behind. As heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight under the Umbran name. You may select opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Then none! Nilen Kiadagat! The child is of impure blood. Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith. It would not be the first time we've faced each other. Chiard? Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me to return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. Now, finally we can do something. Okay, I just got my ass thoroughly handed to me right there. Ha! 
Sorry folks if I'm not seeing me talking right now. I'm not, I've got a guest over here right now and it's a little bit awkward trying to do both at the same time. Oh, don't start giving me that look. I've never done this before, having a let's play while also having someone over at the same time. And this is taking a lot longer than I feel like it should be. Maybe that's because I'm just sucking today. Who knows? Jeez! Where'd she go? Oh, there you are. Oh, finally! Oh. Oh, shut up. Sorry, he's giving me like this really silent applause with the biggest shit-eating grin on his face. Moon! Let's just hope Piccolo doesn't blow this one up. Props to anyone who can get that reference. Enough with the silent applause already! You know, Hunter realized that while they make it look adorable from the- Okay, scratch that. They do not look adorable up close. They look downright hideous. All the more reason to shoot them. Deer and decorations. Okay, that made no look of sense. Wait, what am I saying? This is Bayonetta. This doesn't have to make a look of sense. Ouch! Game contains lap dance. Much better. Okay, we're trying to remember where do I go from here. Perhaps up. No. Let's... Oh, wait, there we go. How, can you, how convenient to have an overcast just right as I'm about to hit the entrance. Damn it, almost. What the? Some temporal witch power on in my situation would improve. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to invoke witch time or something. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna say there was through the Okay, so there's gotta be something around here that maybe involve which time. Let's see. Mine! Ah, there it is. Three, two, one. There we go, that's much better. What the hell? That should have allowed me to get through. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. thought of something. If Bayonetta technically is her outfit is made of her hair and she has to reveal it in order to get anywhere, does that technically count as streaking? <laughs> well, 
Well, someone's been playing Assassin's Creed way too damn much. Uh, Luca, I think Doctor Who wants his scarf back. Do you believe in fate? Oh, come on, you gotta admit. He's got the biggest grin. Okay, my guess is giving me a big grin on his face. Come on, you cannot tell me with a straight face that that does not look like Doctor Who's scarf. Or at least one that he would wear. What the hell is that? Apparently he's trying to talk to me in sign language to avoid talking on camera. Fuck. Oh great, now he just stole Batman's grappling hook as well. So let's get this straight. He's a ripoff of Doctor Who, Ezio, and <laughs> Batman. And yet nowhere near as badass as any of those three. Sayonara. Fleur de cire eau de parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. <laughs> Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonet. And of course, a random sign just happens like to drop on his head. I know what I saw that day. Good God, this thing has more flashbacks than a Stephen King miniseries. Wow, that has about as much emotional motivation as Star Trek Insurrection. Fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. <laughs> Angels are like, hi. Uh, can we step in for a quick moment? We have some medicine to sell with the witch. The smell. The same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary is a demon repellent. And off with his head.
torture attack in a row, or was that the third? I can't remember. Oh, more of them. Persistent little bastards. That cannot be good for her back. Ouch! What a lovely new decoration! I just love a good angel chandelier! You missed! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I gotta fight this thing now with little help? Missed! You know, I don't know why, but for some reason it makes me very uncomfortable whenever I have to hit the demon's or the angel's crotch. And kick to the face. What the hell? And now Beta is just floating in midair, not doing a thing. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever! Okay, if you're the one who is hunting for Bayonetta and saying she can't escape for you, then why are you the one running away? Uh, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but still, I'm running really low on health. I wonder, do I have... I wonder if there's something I've got around like I can... Uh, as much as I don't really want to use items, I feel like I need to, at least for this case. Oh, nice! What a lovely little street! What the... What the hell?! What the hell? Okay, so a trolley just came out of nowhere, crashes it on fire, and all of a sudden I see flaming wheels. Sounds like Dallas traffic on a Saturday afternoon. Whoa! Okay. Well, that was embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again, but with less rogue kill this time. Ha! I see your little ploy, and I dodge your trolley of death. 
I, forgot, I didn't even get a chance to see what these things name was. What was it again? Enchant. I'm gonna say, I don't really feel enchanted every time I see these things. I feel like they're just flaming. People say the phrase hell on wheels. Is this what they're referring to? Just angel wheels on fire? Smooth. What was that again? Oh, come on, really? How do you expect me to get a higher combo out of that? What, was like a torture attack necessary or something? Oh, well. What the? Of course, as soon as I'm about to... Alright, where are you? Oh yay, more flaming wheels! Oh god, I just thought of the most horrible pun. I don't know if I should say or not, because I usually hate puns. Ah, fine. I guess this gives a whole new meaning to the term Hot Wheels. Hey, you might just told me to say this! You can't blame me, I usually hate puns with a passion, because they're A, not clever, it takes about the capacity of a four-year-old to get them, and it just usually are not funny. I think the worst types of puns, though, are Pokemon puns, seriously. I've seen so many Pokemon YouTubers use puns, and I kind of just want to die a little inside every time I hear them. Oh, great! Big, ugly, and gruesome is there. Wait, did I just say gruesome? What the hell does that even mean? Who knows, I'm just rambling at this point. That's not a kitty. Okay! So now I've got two of these two of these bastards to deal with now. Just great. Oh, yeah! I get to miss around with a big axe! What was it Teddy Roosevelt once said? Speak softly and carry a big axe? I think it was something like that. Oh, wait, no, it was speak softly and carry a big stick. Oh! Okay, I've never done that before. Come to think of it. Bad Angel, you need a spanking. And now for the climax. And not in the good way, climax. I'm talking about the bad way. Oh, look, it's Freddy again! Hi, Freddy! Time for dinner! Now, Freddy, where are your table manners? You're supposed to eat all of your food, not just the intestines. Okay, scratch that. I guess I did get hit once or twice. Quasi un fantasia. Never heard of the song. Okay, so apparently there's going to be something involving witch time. Ah, let me go to the Gates of Hell bar just for a quick moment, just to see if there's anything new. So that means Angels use do it. Let's Plays too. Oh wait, no, that's just for the records. Never mind. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best. Weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, 
You give me that record, and I'll order up something so fiendish, angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop down to the tropics for a bit, so take a load off. Uh, why not just use the door? Moonlight Sonata? I love that song! This took a bit to pound into shape, but the workmanship's solid. Now, go put this thing to good use. Ooh, sword! Let's see. I wonder, should I have the shotguns on my V or should I just keep the gun? Or should I keep the pistols? Oh, you've got to be. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought for a second I had to buy the pistols now that I've got the record. Okay, let's see. A couple techniques air dust, stiletto, heel slide, uh, heel stomp, break dance. Ooh, do a splits and then split out straight. I can perform in midair. Let's try the break dance. Okay, I'm buying this attack. I don't care. Okay, so after bring kick, which to uh, portal kick. Oh, whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. My mistake. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, Witch Twist, Afterburn Kick, Heel Stomp, uh, Titsu Zanako, uh, Stiletto. Stiletto. What does that one do? Slash a new opponent with incredible quickness and deliver a devastating thrusting attack. Why do I feel like that's supposed to be an innuendo? This can be more from midair. Press L stick towards the enemy twice. Whoa, let's see. Press L stick towards the enemy twice quickly, then also. Oh, that's how this works. Okay, that makes sense. Air dodge. Oh, yeah, dodging is always very important. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make another DBZ or bridge joke. Even though I could easily make that. Alright, I think that's enough moves, at least for now. Let's see. Need to modify this. So let's see. Do I keep the guns? Do I keep the sword? Or do I add the sword? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll try out the sword and the uh, the shotguns first. Man, having shotguns on your feet. Imagine the weight coil they have. That must be murdering your legs. Not bad. Oh, 
All right. Not pure platinum, but it'll do. Lift. And there goes Bandit streaking again. Hey look, I made a bridge and it only took like what? Five seconds? Okay, props to anyone who can get that reference. Of course, you just can't open the door with your hands like a normal person. You have to kick the door in. Granted, I can't really complain because I like kicking doors in too. Okay, I officially can't hear a thing that she's saying. I would reach over to grab the remote, but it's a behind the camera, so yeah, I'm kind of screwed on that end. Ooh, shiny. And you just had to go over in a perfectly good mosaic. I swear, I swear, angels have no appreciation for fine art. Hey look, it's upside down angel face demon, or whatever the hell it is. Wait a second. Oh yeah, this is, I think this might be the same one. Oh wait. Now, now, there's no need to throw a tantrum. I just need to shoot you in the face and you need to die. It's very quite simple. And then I think this is no time for breakdancing unless it's in the middle of a boss fight. And what the heck just happened? I am in the air while still in the cathedral attached to upside down angel face demon. Aw, I think blue face is getting a little bit jealous. Too bad, boys. I'm a little I'm a little divided with my attention right now. Ah, oh, damn it. That's the second time I've died in this one episode. Okay, I don't know how long this episode's been going on, but if I do have to split this up, I apologize. I usually try to do one mission per episode, but I don't know if that's going to be the case with this one. Okay, since we've already seen this cutscene, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. Or, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. We've already seen it. Well, that was quick. There we go. Man, someone really needs some dental work. Man, not only does Heaven not have a weight loss program, but it has terrible dental work.
Aww, quit thrashing the bell. That's gonna do murder on your neck. Crap, how'd I miss that? Okay, let's try this again. That's the third time I've died. I'm just dying left and right, aren't I? Oh well. Hmm? Yes, I know I'm not supposed to die during a Let's Play. You're supposed to not say that. This is my first time doing it, so shut it. Ha! Missed! Okay, first she can move a car with her bare hands, and now she's moving a freaking stone building. Just how freaking strong is this woman? Oh, finally, there's that end. Oh, wow. I really screwed up on this one. Increases one alertness, one's attack power, barrier breaking will shield for a short time. Eh. I'll just go with the halos. Uh, Bayonetta, I think your map's on fire. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Perry Plays Bayonetta. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next Wednesday, then.